Hi everybody, this is Matt and I'm back with another mesh modeler tutorial and similar to our custom booster tutorial in this one we're going to show how to essentially embed one of these little boosters or we're in this case we're going to do it with an engine engine off block um, but we're going to show how to embed that within a normal um, tech platform. So to do that we're going to go ahead and create a new item and we'll start it on our platform here then under mesh we'll go to settings and I'm going to hit control A and delete this cube and we're just going to start from scratch. So I'm going to set the tool step to 32 meters. Uh, we're going to go to creation tools and then create face. Click once at the beginning and then once at each corner. So we're going to create a 32 by 32 face starting at the origin here. And you can see that it kind of glitches into this into this block, but that's okay. Uh, then we're going to hit control A to select all go to the modeling tools, click on extrude selection, and we're gonna extrude it two meters um, vertically here uh, along the green axis. And then we'll hit control A, click on materials, and then select the platform tech. And so this is gonna look like a normal tech platform. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is, um, so this is gonna be visible and also, um, I guess, collidable. So we're going to hit control A to select everything. And then we're going to go to the, um, the advanced tools and click subdivide. And so if I double click on this and you click subdivide, you can see it's split it into four and now it's going to be split into, um, 16. And then I guess we, we want to go, um, basically to the point where these are, um, small enough that we can delete some of them and, and create our engine off. So we're going to have kind of like maybe an engine off block that you're supposed to miss. And we could even add a booster into it. Let's see how it goes. So then we're going to click on um, the selection and let's just select um, where we want our booster to be. So let's say we want, um, let's see, one, two, three, Let's say we want this to be our engine off spot. So I selected those and then we're going to click on, okay, I, I deselected them. So hit hold control and click on the ones you want. And then we're going to click on copy selection and then hit delete. And so that's going to delete it out of this layer. And then we're going to go to layers, click the plus, click on geometry, hit control A and delete to delete that um, cube that's there and then set the tool step to zero meters and click on paste selection. And so we can paste it right there. So now this little section of the track is on a new layer. This one is going to be um, visible and we're going to have it be not collidable. Now we need to create another new layer, hit control A and delete. And then this one's going to be collidable, but not visible. And we can hit paste. So we'll paste it right here. Um, so it's, not visible, it is collidable, we pasted it right here and hit control A, then go to materials and we're going to go click on this gear and we're gonna select the, um, let's do the engine off, which is called free wheeling and we can apply the material to the selection here. So now we have a little kind of engine off spot and to actually get the engine off um, decal there, we need to create an another new layer uh, so new layer, control A and delete to delete the cube. And then we'll click paste selection again. Um, the tool step is still on zero meters, so we can paste it right here. And then we're going to go to materials and let's go find our engine off material here, um, which is on page 17. And you can see it says not collidable. So we'll apply the material to selection. This doesn't look quite right, which means we have to go and modify the UVs. So we'll go to the custom UV mode. So I actually will want to set this to um, cubic and then go to custom UV mode. And you can see that these are kind of those faces that we copied. We want to line those up with the engine off. Um, so I'll click and drag to create a rectangle around it to select uh, the faces here. And then we'll move that onto the engine off. We're gonna to wanna to rotate this as well. Um, so it, it's in the right direction. And then we can click on 
So this was rotate. So you click on rotate and you can click and drag to rotate the direction of this. And it kind of snaps in place. And then we can click on this one to scale it so we can make it big enough so you can actually see the engine off. Um, if you wanted to, you could really scale it up to see many, many engine offs there. Um, I don't think control, I don't know if control Z will work here, but we'll, we'll just put one right here. Um, so that'll be an engine off block. And then, uh, to, so to summarize, we have this layer, which is just the decal, um, which is not collidable. We have, so we'll go through their four layers. So this one is just the decal, not collidable, and it has our, our engine off picture on it. The next layer is the collidable geometry that, or collidable but not visible geometry that applies uh, what the engine off looks like. This layer is, um, I guess, a section of cement, which really we, we probably didn't need. Um, we could have just included that in this layer. Okay, actually, the reason we need this, um, we do need this layer because this layer is not collidable, but it does look like cement. And so if you have like two cement layers on top of each other, then you get double the friction and that actually messes with the physics. So it is important that these two are on separate layers because this one just looks like cement, but the uh, or concrete and then the bottom layer actually is collidable concrete and also looks like collidable concrete because this bottom layer is both visible and collidable. So, um, Essentially, we have a hole cut out of it. So we could cut a second hole out of this, do the whole thing again, and um, create a booster section as well. So I'm just gonna quickly do that, and uh, let's see how it goes. So we're gonna click on the selection tool, and let's just select where we want it. So I think we did a four by three section. So I'll delete, or I, before we delete it, we want to copy it. So this is gonna be the exact same thing, but we're gonna use, um, a different um, decal and a, a different like booster mode. So, or it's, it's going to be a booster instead of an engine off. So we'll go click on copy selection and then delete. And now let's create another new geometry layer. Control A, delete to delete that. Hit paste. Let's paste it right here. So this will be visible and not collidable. Let's create another new geometry layer. Control A, delete, hit paste click in the middle here, this one will be uh, visible and collidable. And now we, so this is where we'll actually apply our material. So we'll hit control A to select it, click on materials. Uh, we select concrete. We're going to go over to the right and select the concrete reactor boost. And I think this will actually do a boost up. So depending on which direction the block is rotated, it will be either um, boost up or boost down. Um, one of the cool things also while we're here, so you can do other uh, materials like magnet or, or sand or anything. So the magnet one's pretty cool. So you can make magnet, magnetic boosters if you want. Um, so yeah, so we got that. And then the next thing we need is another geometry layer. Control A, delete, hit paste, click right here. And this last layer is going to be our booster um, or our reactor decal. So let's find that. So unfortunately, not all the reactor ones. So this is on page 12. So the, uh, not all the reactor decals are in the same place um, here. So we'll go back into the custom UV mode. And now we need to move and put this in the right place. So let's see. Hopefully we get this. Yeah, it should be a boost. I think it's going to be a boost up. So let's get this in place here. There we go, and then we'll size it up. Okay, cool. So now, if we turn all these layers back on, we have an engine off and a boost combined into the same block. We'll go ahead and save this. I have no idea what, what name would actually make sense for this. Um, and then we'll go to the placement parameters, say the horizontal size is 32, and the vertical size is eight. So to make things easy to place, and we'll do a fly step of one. Uh, save this, hit back. So now we can, can place this easily. So, um, and we'll, we'll try it both facing both ways. So let's see how this works. So if I just drive over this booster, I get a boost up. 
if I drive over the engine off, it actually does turn my engine off. And then the last one should be this down because it's facing in the opposite direction. So that's how to create, I guess, to embed um, boosts within other blocks and kind of combine into uh, like a cool looking block. Um, hopefully this was helpful um, and gives you some creative ideas on what you can do. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to you know comment to comment. Um, and yeah, have a great rest of your day.